Hello boys and girls. It's Karen Lee. I'm back in my living room in South Berwick, Maine for Karen Reads. My new book today is called Gorilla about children's book writer by children's book writer Anthony Brown. He does both the writing and the illustrations. He's done over 50 books won all kinds of awards. Really neat guy. I think you will like this. Okay. Hannah loved gorillas. She read books about gorillas. She watched gorillas on television and she drew pictures of gorillas. But she had never seen a real gorilla. Her father didn't have time to take her to see one at the zoo. He didn't have time for anything. He went to work every day before Hannah went to school. And in the evening, he worked at home. When Hannah asked him a question, he would say, not now, I'm busy, maybe tomorrow. But the next day, he was always too busy not now, maybe on the weekend, he would say. But on the weekend, he was always too tired. They never did anything together. There she is alone in her room. The night before her birthday, Hannah went to bed tingling with excitement. She had asked her father for a gorilla. In the middle of the night, Hannah woke up and saw a very small parcel at the foot of the bed. It was a gorilla, but it was just a toy. You could see her holding it. Hannah threw the gorilla into the corner with her other toys and went back to sleep. In the night, something amazing happened. That's what she saw when she woke up, was a gorilla staring right at her. Hannah was frightened. Don't be frightened, Hannah, said the gorilla. I won't hurt you. I just wondered if you'd like to go to the zoo. The gorilla had such a nice smile that Hannah was not afraid. I'd love to, she said. They both crept downstairs and Hannah put on her coat. The gorilla put on her father's coat and hat. A perfect fit, he whispered. They opened the front door and went outside. Come on then, Hannah, said the gorilla, and he gently lifted her up. Then they were off, swinging through the trees toward the zoo. When they arrived at the zoo, it was closed and there was a high wall around it. Never mind, said the gorilla, up and over. They went straight to the primates. Hannah was thrilled. 
so many gorillas. The gorilla took Hannah to see the orangutan and a chimpanzee. She thought they were beautiful, but sad. What would you like to do now? The gorilla asked. I'd love to go to the movies, said Hannah. So they did. Afterward, they walked down the street together. That was wonderful, said Hannah, but I'm hungry now. Okay, said the gorilla, we'll eat. So they're at a restaurant and he's chowing on bananas and she's eating hot fudge sundae, hamburger and fries, etc., etc. I bet he'll help her eat all that food. Time for home, asked the gorilla. Hannah nodded a bit sleepily. They danced on the lawn. Hannah had never been so happy. You better go in now, Hannah, said the gorilla. See you tomorrow. Really, she said. The gorilla nodded and smiled. The next morning, Hannah woke up and saw the toy gorilla. She smiled. Hannah rushed downstairs to tell her father what had happened. Happy birthday, love, he said. Do you want to go to the zoo? Hannah looked at him. She was very happy. There they are, off to the zoo. Okay, have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.